Uh, is it weird or awesome that I'm so excited to test like 10 different plugins live? <laughs> All right. One of the most time saving and impressive things that you can do with ChatGPT Plus with plugins is reading and summarizing and analyzing PDF documents. It's something that almost every business professional can do, but you got to know how to do it right. Because if you choose the wrong plugin or if you don't know what you're doing, you're probably going to get some lies and hallucinations. So stick with me and we're going to run them all down real quick. So uh, you might want to know, what is this? Who's this random guy? What's up, y'all? My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like me and you not just learn what's going on with AI, but how we can actually leverage it. Here's the big difference with everyday AI versus everyone else. Essentially this. Other groups out there, they're either geared toward highly technical people or they're all just kind of putting out the same stuff. They use ChatGPT. They write a bunch of, you know, eh, not that great content and they put it out and they tell you to share it. This is how everyday AI is different. We spend so much time. I spent hours on this video. This one video that's going to be like five to eight minutes. So you know how to use ChatGPT. So you can automate large parts of your day. I don't just put out information. We don't just, our team wants to always make sure you have accurate information. We don't just put out a bunch of hot garbage on repeat. All right. So let's dive into it. I'm going to tell you what we're doing here, but I have all these different, the top, I think 10 uh, different plugins that claim they can read and analyze and talk with PDFs. We're going to do it live and I'm going to tell you what's going on. All right. So I have different uh, PDFs. I have them ready to go. So this doesn't take an hour. And essentially I'm asking for a couple of things. I have this PDF document right here. Okay. And it is almost two, uh, how long is this? It's 108 pages long. And in here, I have this one little thing hidden. I've done this before, but I've updated it. I made it a little harder. So I have this comment here in this long PDF that says the Everyday AI podcast has 14,855 downloads in the last seven days. It's a lot more than the first time we did this was like 700. We've grown a little bit. Thanks to y'all. So thanks for your support. All right. So in this prompt, I'm going to be asking these 10 different chat GPT plugins. Most of them are PDF based. Some are web based with PDF uh, features. All I'm asking is I'm giving the link to the PDF and I'm asking how many downloads did the everyday AI podcast have in the last seven days. And again, it should know the correct answer, which is 14,855. And then I'm also asking, please give me a very brief summary on what this PDF document is about. So the main two things that we're looking here, which are two things you should always be looking for in a PDF plugin or an internet connected plugin is you need number one, you need accuracy. Okay. And then that's how we're going to ask it the specific question about the downloads. Accuracy is so important. Otherwise, nothing else matters. Number two, that's uh, kind of two and three is speed and depth, right? We want to make sure that it can quickly go through the plugin and it can go in a deep way and help us uh, develop a deeper understanding of this plugin with, or of this PDF without having to read it. All right. So now we're going to go rapid fire and we're going to see who's right and who's wrong. All right. So this first one is PDF AI. Okay. That's a, or sorry, AI PDF is the, is the uh, essential name. All right. And nailed it. 14,000 brief summary. Yup. This is good. All right. Number two, here we go. This is browser op. This is browser op. So browser op is actually one of my favorite plugins because it is a web-based plugin. It can do so many different things, but one thing that it does fairly well is reads PDFs. So let's see. So the nice thing I liked is uh, browser app gave me a, a nice little recap before it got started uh, to, to make sure that um, it knew what I wanted. So let's see how it did. All right. Whew. 
that would have been bad if one of my favorite plugins that I talk about all the time. Uh, something I like right away is it gave me the, the source, the page as well. I like that. And it gave me a brief summary. Let's see. And the summary is correct. Oh, love this. It's source all the different pages. And again, the, the PDF based ones, I have a couple other web browsing based plugins that do PDF analysis or say they do. So that's an important differentiator. So um, technically it's harder or it's more impressive, I guess, if the web-based plugins can read the PDFs versus the PDF-based plugins, they can't really read the web. So it's like having a Swiss army knife versus uh, kind of a one trick pony, so to speak. All right, so we're two for two. Now the next one that we're going into is uh, called PDF, or sorry, Access PDF and Docs. That is the name of this third plugin. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, okay. This one, sorry, I needed the Google Drive link. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a Google Drive link, which I have right here. So I want to be fair. I want to be fair, right? So let me get, um, let me get the Google Drive link and we're going to try it again with this one. So I'm going to swap out that PDF link. I'm going to put in the Google Drive link and we'll give it another try. So again, this one is the plugin's name is PDF Access and Docs or Access PDF and Docs. There it is right there. Okay. All right. It looks like having some issues. All right. Bummer. So uh, I guess we'll get, um, I'm looking one more time. I'm, I'm looking at the, um, oh, that's why y'all I made a mistake there. I need to update the sharing permissions. I thought I did. Let's try, let's try it one more time. Sorry. I want to make sure, I want to make sure we give this one a, a fair shake, right? So, all right, here we go. We're going to try this one one more time. Here we go. There is the updated link with the updated sharing. So let's see. Access PDF and Docs. Are you going to pass the test? Let's see. All right. Well, um, I'm not sure what it's summarizing here. So this, this, um, this information is in the document, I know, because, uh, but it's, it's not answering the questions. So unfortunately, uh, that one does not pass either test. So that one does not pass either test. All right, here we go. Next one. This is PDF. Uh, sorry, this is chat with PDF. So this is a pretty, uh, this was actually one of the first plugins on the OpenAI repository. This is a good time to remind you, uh, if you do wanna access plugins, you have to have the paid version of ChatGPT. It costs $20 a month. You can only have three plugins active at any time. Uh, so that's just something uh, to keep in mind. All right, so let's see. Got the downloads right, bam. Brief summary, let's see how it did. Got it, nailed it. All right, so, so far we've had three uh, and I got to wait, wait till that one's done generating. It's done. All right, here we go for the next one. So we've had three that have uh, passed. Uh, one that failed. There's been no partial uh, passes either. So that's, impo uh, that, that's important to know that for a 100-page PDF, to quickly give a recap, that's nice. And again, I know what's in the PDF. So... It looks like for this one, we have to upload a document. Let's see. Once the document, all right, let's see if we can quickly do this without, uh, I've done this one before. It should be pretty quick. So I'm going over here. It gives you a link. I have to create an account. All right. Give me a second here. I do this all live, y'all. I thought I had one before. I'm continuing with Google. I'm pretty sure I've set this, set this one up. There we go. All right. So. We're gonna jump back in. We're gonna upload our PDF here. It's gonna give us a file upload failed. Oh, can only have a hundred pages, bummer. Well, because that happened, it's not going to move on as a winner. Sorry, ask your PDF. 
people have long PDFs, so that one's not going to win. All right, that is, let's see. We're moving on to the next one. Here we go. This is Link Reader. We got we're getting some errors here. All right, here we go. So this is let's get this one uh let's get this one named correctly. This is PDF Mixer Box. All right, so there's our Mixer Box plugin. I'm 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 usually a fan of the Mixer Box plugins. They do fairly well. Um so let's see how it goes. Mixer box plugin. Got the downloads correct. Brief summary. Yup. Nailed it. Nailed it. All right. Let's see who's next here. All right. Let's do link reader. So link reader is one that by default, quote unquote, it is a web-based. It is not a PDF first uh, plugin. So similar to the last, um, to browser op, it is kind of a web-based plugin first. Um, and second, it is not. So interesting. So it is kind of, uh, it's asking for personalized message templates for 15 types of people. So this is actually, uh, it pulled in information from the document, uh, but that this is not uh, what we asked. So uh, this information is in this PDF. So it is pulling information, but it's not answering the questions. And it's just kind of going off on its own, uh, on its own. So unfortunately, Link Reader does not pass the test. All right. Last but not least, I think this is last. There might be one more. Thanks for sticking around. This is uh, officially the longest AI in five ever. Normally, these are five minutes, but I thought this would be fun. And if you're still sticking around, that's awesome. Shoot me a LinkedIn message that just says PDF. Uh, you know, I always like to put little things in there. I never know what I'm going to do, but you know, maybe I'll send you something. All right. So here we go. Universal. Let's see how Universal did. Uh, Universal says it's too large to process. So uh, sorry, Universal does not pass the test. Let's see the brief summary. Still doesn't do it. So again, these web based plugins are struggling a little bit. Uh, so let's look at, let's see, WebPilot. So WebPilot used to be one of my favorite plugins. And then at least for in my own testing, it became a little uh, unreliable. This was a couple months ago. Uh, so I, I hope WebPilot can pass the test here uh, because I think it is a great, uh, a great web-based plugin. Again, web-based plugin with the capabilities to read PDF. So this one's uh, taking a little, uh, a little longer than others, but that's fine. Uh, again, I think sometimes if these plugins are web-based first, they do take a little bit more time sometimes to read PDF than if you are a PDF reader plugin first, you can usually go through this a little faster. All right. So it looks like, let's see, encountered an issue, uh, ex uh accessing the, uh, well, that just means it didn't do a good job. So web pilot did not work. Universal did not work. Um, link reader. Let's see. Link reader did not work either. All right. Uh, so let's, we're just doing a quick one. So web pilot did not work. Uh, this worked. AI PDF worked browser op shout out browser op. Probably one of my favorite plugins out of a thousand worked. Uh, let's see this one access PDF and docs, uh, did not work. Uh, it kind of went off, went off the rails a little bit, which is interesting because that's the only, I think that's the only PDF based plugin that didn't, uh, you know, pass with, with flying colors, uh, chat with PDF nailed it. Good job. Chat with PDF. And then, uh, last but not least, uh, ask your PDF. Uh, let's see. Oh, I forgot. We didn't get to this one. Oh no, this one. I forgot this one. Uh, couldn't upload the document because it was too big. So, uh, I guess for that reason, we're not going to know, uh, you know, sometimes people have very long PDFs and I don't think that should be, uh, you know, a determining factor, I guess. All right. That was the longest AI in five ever. I am kind of tired, but 
this is why we do this. We do this because when we give recommendations, uh, when we're consulting businesses, when we're helping people grow their careers and grow their companies, this is the type of stuff that we do. Uh, we, we, we don't just put out you know, mediocre content in bulk. We take our time, we investigate, we dive in depth. So we make sure you can learn and actually leverage AI. If this was helpful, I hope it was. As a reminder, please go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for the free daily newsletter, the podcast, the live stream. It's awesome. This AI in five was too long. Sorry, y'all. Peace.